This time I'm bringing you part 4 of my Elite Dangerous Guide on Xbox One. Uh, this game actually just came out of preview program. It's now in its final release. This is uh, this is the game. What you see here is is uh, the final release. Uh, I'm going to be going over some um, some combat scenarios and doing some assassination missions. Uh, you know, the first video I talked about the basics. The second video, what was it? Um, a little bit of navigation and uh, some training. Uh, trading. Third video, I think I touched up on some smuggling. <clears throat> which is my favorite profession. Right now, my um, uh, my current mission is to find and assassinate some targets. Um, I actually kitted out my, my Viper ship with some really, really good weapons. Um, some really, I think I, I put uh, the best engines on there. Uh, it's all decked out. It's not at its max yet, but um, it's, 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 it's up there. So... Let me show you how to do some assassination missions if you if you do come across them in the starports. Okay, so right here we're just in deep space. I'm gonna show you my transactions tab. And the first one, I have two. I have this one here and this one underneath. Uh, this one's almost um, it's two hours away from completing, so I, I want to hurry up and get it get it done. This isn't for a lot of money. Um, this is only thirty five thousand credits. However, it does have a uh, high reputation gain um, for completing it, and that's what I'm looking for. That's going to get my rank up there, and I'll show you where that is. My rank, you can see it uh, right there in the left part of the status uh, tab. Combat rank novice. I want to get that up a little bit higher um, so I can start getting some better missions. So that's why I'm taking on these smaller ones. Plus, the tougher missions that you do get that pay out more I generally will have bigger bosses that you fight, bigger ships, the anacondas, the pythons, and they'll usually have an escort of like a vulture or something, and those you're not going to get with a, a tiny little viper. So I got to stay within my means. So let's go ahead and uh, go after this mission here. Uh, it's all about the ratings commander, and we're losing. Kellis celebrity is a monster that we just can't beat. Uh, and that means more extreme measures need to be taken. That's where you come in, commander. Go to Cupus and end Kellis career once and for all. And you will be suitably recompensed, recompensed, whatever the hell that is. All right, so we're, we're going to go to Brani. Uh, I'm sorry, we're going to go to Cupus and look for this guy named Keller. So let's go ahead and open up the galaxy map. All right. Uh, so the galaxy map, actually, well, we're already in Cupus. We're already in Cupus? Anyway, let's just go ahead and plot her out there. No, we're in ceramics. Okay, there you go. There's that little dot. There's that little solid line. We're going to Cupus. I do have a lot going on in this galaxy map. I should probably remove some of those those lines to make it a little bit easier to see. So let's go ahead and uh, gauge frame shift drive. And accelerate. Uh, the final, the final version of this game, I, I feel, um, I feel it's a little bit cleaner. It's definitely a lot smoother. Let's go ahead and align that little sniper scope thing there that I taught you guys before. It's definitely a lot smoother, um, less jittery. Uh, uh, to, just, it feels like it's a steady 60 frames a second. You know, sometimes when you're in hyperspace like this right now, it, it does look a little jittery. Um, and when you come out, it'll stutter a little bit, but it's. It's nowhere near as bad as it was when it was in beta. Or preview, whatever you want to call it. Um, okay, so... Alright, so we're in Cupus, okay? Now we're just going to fly around here. This is this is how you find assassination targets. You fly through the system, and you just scan. Alright, so we're going to look for... Under our contacts. Let's scroll through them. Actually, you know what? First thing you want to do is not go so fast. You want to kind of bring the needle down into the blue. So you're just not flying fast. Ooh, and look at that. We have a human player. See that little dot on the radar? It's a, it's a, uh, a hollowed out box. That's a, that's a human player. Um, let's go ahead and we can see if we can find this guy, Keller. Actually, let me see if I'm going to go ahead and target that human player. 
Unless he already left. He might have already taken off. Just wanted to scan him, see if he was wanted. If he was wanted, then maybe I'd go after him. But, uh... So... Now, see, he has a target a python. And uh, if, you're, if you're into bounty hunting, you know that those pythons usually bring in a good bounty, if they're wanted. Uh, so what you do want to do to find out is look at the left. See, I pointed my nose at him, so now I'm scanning him. And it says he's clean. He's a federal agent. He's dangerous, so you don't want to mess with him. And he's aligned with Zachary Hudson, who I'm aligned with in Power Play, so I kind of don't want to go after that guy. So uh, let's see. What, let's see if we can. Let's just keep flying around, see if we can find this guy Keller. That's his name, right? Let me go back here. Keller. Yep. Uh, what time? There we go. Contacts. This is going to take some time. Um, and once we find him, I actually, because he's in Super Cruise, I actually have to pull him out of Super Cruise. Kind of like, like a fishing rod. You know, when you're fishing and you're going to catch a fish, you throw out your line and you hook him and you reel him in. That's kind of like what this, uh, what I'm going to have to do here. You see in the lower right part of my my uh, my glass in the cockpit there it says FSD indicator out of range that stands for a frame shift drive what I say indicator interdictor it's way too late guys I'm sorry it's like three in the morning I think and I'm uh, I really should be in bed but anyway frame shift drive interdictor out of range um, so we're gonna interdict him once we find him and this right here let me show you something this Vulture is a ship that I want to get. It's uh, it's it's a combat ship. It's probably the, the best combat ship, I think, in the game. It's about $6 million, or a little maybe over. Um, it's not really fast, but it's big, and it turns excellent. And what it is is it has two... It's meant for taking out um, the large the large ships, like the Viper... I'm sorry, like the uh, Anaconda and the, um, the Python because it has two large hard points so you can put in two giant weapons on there so and it has a lot of armor and everything so that's going to be my next purchase uh, well, I hope this isn't going to take forever sometimes he's there they're there the targets are there right away let's go back towards we came in the sun this way Uh, so this might take some time. Usually it would have happened by now. And sometimes you'll even see him talking. Oh! That's him. Just pretend I'm not here, folks. He was here. Did I miss him? Oh god, this is gonna stink. Oh, what the hell. I swear to God, I didn't see this guy. He didn't show up in here. I'm just cycling through targets. See if any of them are him. It should show up my contacts panel. I don't know why it wouldn't. No. I don't know what the hell. Alright, can we just tell me he's here? See, and generally you don't have to scan him, like, it just has his name there. I'd be missing him. What the hell? Oh, so I'm getting interdicted. Now, um, I could easily uh, submit to this interdiction by slowing down and uh, go after the guy and possibly get a uh, collector's bounty, but um, I'm in the middle of a stream, so I don't want to do that. 
Let's just go ahead and keep it lined up here so we can get out of here. Unless he does pull me in. Some of these are tough. So I, you, you want to keep it in the blue. Okay, keep it right centered so you see the left. Uh, the, the blue I want to get full all the way. And this guy is just going to pull me out, isn't he? He's going to pull me. All right, well, we're going to be in for a dogfight here. All right. Generally, what I like to do here, whenever they do pull me out, I'll floor it. And he's scanning me, so... What threats do you carry? Is he... He's an enemy. Okay, so I want to kill this guy. He's dangerous, though. This is going to be a little tough. So what I generally do is I put all my power to engines. Okay, and couple of shields. I don't do weapons. And I just get as fast as uh, far away as fast as possible. And then what I'll do is I'll drop my speed down to the optimal turn rate. Hold an X there. I'm going to switch to my fire group so it has um, the uh, kill warrant scanner. All right, so now let's go ahead and... Uh, we're going to do a little flight assist maneuver. We're going to flip around. We're still going to be flying in that direction. But we're going to flip around on him. And then we're going to scan him. And we're flying backwards right now. This is the best way I know how to scan targets when they're coming after me. Oh, and he wants to take off now. So I have to stay within 2,000 kilometers in order to start to keep the scan going. Now, right, what, what I'm doing right here is, is uh, oh, he took off, that little son of a gun. So I can scan this. I, if I, I have a um, awake scanner and I can follow him, I don't want to do that. It's a waste of time. I love how he was threatened and he just took off. Let's get back in the super cruise. But anyway, if I would have uh, scanned him fully with that kill warrant scanner, it would have showed in the in his information panel on the left. Um, I don't want that. Oh, there. Anything here? Just... And if I would have fully scanned him, uh, it would have shown his outstanding warrants from all over, not just the immediate vicinity. And I would have collected more, more bounty if I killed him. So let's go back to what we're doing here. Why, why can't I find this guy? He's, he's talking in the comms panel. Maybe he's in an orca. Let me just, I don't know, I have a feeling that I do have to scan him. It might have changed that, but usually it used to be they just showed up with his name. There he is. Okay, so let's get my frame shift drive interdictor, which is the correct word. And it shows on the left on his information panel, the information panel, he's a mission target. It's in blue. He's in a wing of three, though. So I have to fly close enough to him that uh, he's in range of my um, interdictor. And then we're going to go ahead and press right trigger and then keep him in that... Uh, uh, keep him in that little mini game there. Drag him out. Uh, he's, in, he's gaining speed on me. I don't even know if I'm going to go to grab this guy. He's just taking off. Not even catching him. Oh wait, nope. Now I'm gaining. Now my ship's going faster. Oh yeah, we're gaining on him now. Is he slowing down? Why is he slowing down so fast? What's going on with this guy? I had to slow down a bit there. There we go. I'm into the group. Yeah, I had to slow down a bit because I didn't want to blow past him. That would have sucked. But, uh, go ahead and pull him out. I can, hopefully I can. So, I want to I want to scan this guy as well. With my kill warrant scan to see if he has any outstanding warrants on him as well. Right, so, we just pulled him out. 
go ahead and game, get my uh, deploy my weapons. All right. It's like the next ship. There he is. He's an Orca. I gotta be careful because he's got he's got wingmen with him. We're scanning, scanning, scanning. Don't turn on me, you bastard. All right, now let's see what he has here. The warrants. Nothing. But anyway, we're going to kill him anyway. I'm going to go after his drive. I'm going to target his drive so he can't get away. I'm going to bring up my beam lasers. No, we're not hostile yet, but as soon as I fire on him, we will be. And his buddies are going to come at me, which is fine. I don't care. So you can see my lasers are... are targeted right on his back uh, thrusters. I'm going to go ahead and peg him. Alright. Whoa, that was close. Let's go ahead and turn. Now he's a slower ship, so I don't need that much speed, so I'm going to put a lot of points into, sh into shields. I don't take as much damage. You can see his drive on the left, it's taking hits. See on the left uh, where it says Orca, Keller, mostly harmless. Look at the little drive in the percentage, it's taking hits. And it, what it'll do is if it gets too low, it'll malfunction. And he won't be able to turn, he won't be able to jump in the super cruise. He's also taking a lot of damage on his hull too, so I might just kill him outright. Yep, see he's not he's not able to turn. He's definitely malfunctioning. I'm gonna put four bips into systems here. Now the reason why my cannons are firing so slow is because my power is depleting because I'm firing for so long. And you can solve that if you get a bigger uh, power plant. not going to be able to out-turn me. He's dead. Got him. I got a bounty too, but you know what? I don't care. It's not about the money for me, it's about the mission rep. I'm wanted, so I need to get the freaking hell out of here. Let's put our cannons away. All power into engines. You do that so your engines re recharge fast, faster, and you can just keep boosting. And I like to yaw and roll at the same time, opposite directions. So they can't, if they have, um, if they have just basic weapons that aren't kimballed, they will not be able to hit me. You're a hard target to shoot when you do that. Alright. I can also drop chaff right there. Drop chaff and then uh, if they do have kimballed weapons, it'll mess up the target lock. Chaff is just like uh, chaff you see in the Air Force. Those jets in the air with the air that the Air Force use. Drop chaff is a bunch of little metal particles that go out in the air fuse radar. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and go back, turn that in. All right. Where do we have to go for this? Okay. One tub, that's right. Let's go ahead and go to the galaxy map. It's not good that I'm wanted here, so I want to get back as soon as possible. Pay off that bounty. Take my credits. I'll still make about 20,000 credits. Uh, but I just really want that reputation gain. Let's go ahead and select. One tub.
Okay. And um, another thing too is I told you guys about Frontier um, announcing uh, planetary landings with uh, the Horizon expansion. That's coming out. Uh, they haven't really. Met, somebody asked me this on, on the on the comment section. They didn't come out and announce anything for the Xbox One version. If it's going to have all those um, uh, expansions, but I I'm assuming they will. Hey, look, there's another human. Right there, you know. Let's scan him. I want to scan this guy. There's my contacts. That's him right there. He's a transport ship. So let's go see. He's just. I'm not gonna shoot him. That's just. That's just rude. I'd be able to kill him in this thing, no problem. But Commander Flit. That's how you scan somebody. You just point your nose at him. When you're in super cruise. Um, so, yeah, so they haven't come out and announced that, uh, the expansions, hold on, I'll, I just need to, I just need to do this for a second, so I can concentrate, okay. So they haven't come out and announced the expansions for Xbox One, but I'm assuming they will, because they've come out and said they want, they want it to be exactly the same as the PC, and I'm willing to bet whatever money that they that it all will be for the xbox one as well as the pc um and what they did announce for the pc was not only the horizons where you can land on the you know the, the planets and uh, all the airless planets and and uh find derelict ships and, and take your rover out there and on the planet surface and it's like supposed to be like a one-to-one -one scale representation of the planets too like there's no boundaries you can keep driving and driving to find the stuff um, but they also announced that you can create your own. You'll be able to, will be able to create our own pilot, create a face, a name, and all that stuff, which is something you can't do right now. Um, and that's to, to tie in with the other expansion they're talking about. Which, oops, I might blow by this. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm gonna blow by it. Um, the other expansion. It's gonna tie in with the other expansion, um, which is the um, multi-crew ships. So. There are a lot of ships out there, like the Cobra, the Anaconda, the, the the Vulture. You know, lots of ships. You can act, they actually have two seats, and you'll be able to have another person, another friend, or another computer player taking the role as your co-pilot, and they'll be assigned with things to do in your ship. Like you'll be piloting, and they'll be taking care of the systems, the the targeting, all that stuff. Uh, which sounds really cool to me. Or you can have a computer do it. Uh, there's also the other thing that they they announced is the big ships like the Anaconda and the and the Python and all those will be able to store fighter jets, or fighter ships, in their hull and uh, deploy them whenever there's like a, you know a combat scenario or, or if they're if they're being uh, tailed or hunted. You could uh, I almost I I really should just go to bed. I almost blew by that jump. But anyway, yeah, um, so they'll be able to, you know, you'll be able to get somebody, either a computer player or your, or your friend, to pilot that little small ship that's stored inside your bigger one, and he can fight fight with you, you know, do all those things, take on missions and stuff. So that sounds really cool. Alright, so let's get close enough. I mean, look at these landscapes in this game. I, I just love this game. It just looks so great. Um, Alright. So, what are we doing here? Contacts, one hub, quest docking. Docking request granted. Oh, another thing too is somebody asked me about trading uh, on the forums. I'm, I'm sorry, in the comment section. And um, I, there's one thing I will recommend. Obviously, the Type 6 transporter is great for trading. If you don't have that much money, it's 1 million credits. You should probably get like a Cobra or something. You can get about 40 tons of cargo in the Cobra. You get 100 tons in the Type 6. But I also recommend a docking computer. Um, because it, if you're if you're trading, you're you're docking a lot, and that that'll just it'll make it all seamless and automatic. It's it's kind of easier. 
So I'm going to show you this little trick I found here with uh, Flight Assist. I'm going to toggle it off. And I'm going to flip my ship. And look, I'm still flying in that direction. And I'm just going to line up with the... Uh, with the, um, the doors, the front, the front doors. I just think that's so cool how you can do that. And then once I get in line, I'll just enable flight assist again. There we go. Yeah. So docking computer trading, and also you you always invest. One of the first things you should be buying is if you're trading is a uh, the absolute best, most expensive um, frame shift drive. Because if you could limit, like, they, they, would, they used to be trade runs that I did back in the day that, that would be like five, six jumps to get to the, to the next place to trade. But when I installed the maximum frame shift drive, which was about a million dollars, it was one jump. And it was literally like one jump to get there, and it made it, it cut so much time up. It was so great. Landing gear down. And stop. And also, too, you need a gas tank uh, to balance that out. If you're going to use, if you're going to be jumping that far, you're going to make sure you have enough fuel to be able to jump that far. So, a bigger gas tank as well. Starboard services, and we're going to turn that in. And you're going to see. Actually, let's go ahead and reload here for fuel. Bullets aboard. And turn it in. There we go. Thirty-five thousand credits. Again, I have to pay that fine, so it's only going to be about twenty thousand credits. But watch the rep, the uh, the reputation gain. I, so I get, it, does, it doesn't look like a lot here, but it was uh, it is pretty good because it was a a high payout for reputation. So anyway, that's it for this video, part four assassination missions and I'll show you actually let me just before we end see if there's another one that you can see so this one right here would be another one uh, that I'm highlighting here terminate Paul Van Swank's career that's a cool name um, and you basically have to do what we just did you fly to the system find the target and I guess you have to scan the ships now that you didn't have to do that before but now you do I guess with the final release and uh, um, unless you did I, maybe I'm wrong but anyway, and you have to pull them out of Super Cruise with your interdictor, like a fishing rod, um, and then take them out. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Bobby Digital, signing out.